What's up, YouTube? Gabriel right here, representing the movement towards improvement with my good friend Milt. And this video, we're gonna go and scooter to the range, and we're gonna make a video on proper setup, posture, and grip. For those of you who've been watching my videos, you know I have been playing a lot, and my last few rounds have been a little rusty, to say the least. In other words, I'm hitting it like shit. And uh, Milt saw up my swing and gave me a few tips with just literally setup and grip and I instantly started hitting it better and I was almost like this is too good to be true and so we figured you know this would be a get that shadow out of the way <laughs> this would be a good uh, tip to give you guys whether you're a beginner intermediate or advanced player um, Milt definitely has some gems on proper setup and grip so let's scoot her down to the range and we'll show you how see you guys soon Okay, as you can see, Mill gets to the golf course a little bit differently uh, than me. Mill, how was the ride? It's pretty, a little bit bumpy. I'm not sure why, but it wasn't bad overall for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was pretty smooth for me. Hmm. Um, so could be the scooter. Yeah, but I don't think so. Right. Our routes were a little different. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> so, anyways, you guys, make sure you guys go follow me on Instagram, PG Tour Driven, giving you guys behind the scenes of a scooter and over here in shots. Cinderella story out of nowhere. Former Grangekeeper now about to become the Masters Champion. <clears throat> it's in the hole! And also, like I mentioned in other videos before, I'm going to be teaching you how to build your brand, being in business. For anybody who has a passion for the game of golf, I'm going to teach you how to become an online golf influencer. In January, my videos were getting around 30,000 views a month in 28 days. Now, just a few months later, I'm getting over 117,000 views. So. You build that value and status in the marketplace and you're gonna get more lessons in person, offline, online, clinics, merchandise, jobs at better courses. It's just gonna help you if you have a passion for the game of golf, give you more freedom and opportunities. With that being said, Mel, what's this video gonna be about today? Uh, so Gabe was struggling with this shot and I just had an idea that, you know, his, his swing is not bad, obviously. It's just, it needed a little bit of work. So I'm gonna run him through, well, I'm gonna run you guys through what I taught him, which is, uh, a better setup and a little bit of an adjusted grip due to the setup which it really just gives you a better feeling coming into the ball so I see a lot of amateurs they flip at it they don't hold the club properly they can't they can't feel the weight of the head which is the most important thing so I'm gonna show you how to set up how to hold the club and then that'll teach you to come through impact like you're just you're really like slamming a hammer onto the back of the ball instead of like being weak and flipping at it or just kind of like making side contact with the ball. What's up guys? So uh, I'm gonna show you how I taught Gabe to hold the club. Um, and what I noticed from him is he usually holds the club very traditional. Um, and what I mean by that is Gabe would take, he would have his club more in the center of his mass. And then to compensate, the reason why he flips a lot is he would take his backhand as a right-handed golfer and put it over top which makes this elbow come outwards. But when you hold the club properly, your, club act, your, your hand actually just rests here. So if I'm, if I'm here, what he would do is turn here. And then as I try to take the club back, you, have, you don't have a real good feeling for where the club and the club head's actually supposed to be. So what I taught him was to be a little bit more relaxed and go with the design of the club, meaning 
when I put this club down, there's a natural shaft lean in this club. So as you can see, it, it's, not, it's not straight up and down, there's tilt to it. So what I taught him was, you put the club down naturally, and then from here, instead of moving this arm anywhere, this arm's just gonna rest here. So if I'm, if I'm just standing here in posture, my hand will be here, right? So I don't wanna move, I don't wanna grab the club, I don't wanna push it forward, like I don't wanna drastically put any shaft lean on it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stand here, and then where my hand is, is where the club goes. See how, see how natural, and I'm not forcing anything. So it's very, very natural to hold the club. And now from here, where most people go wrong, is they try to reach for the club. They reach for it. And what I taught him to do was to actually, you're gonna bend under the club to grab it, which creates the reverse K. I'm sure you've heard reverse K in a lot of videos. And they, they try to make you tilt, and they don't explain how you get to a proper reverse K stance. And all that entails is this right here. So my hand is hanging, out, hanging here. Club gets in there naturally, so there's no tension. And I'm just gonna come underneath and then marry this hand to this hand. And now, if you look right here, I have a nice reverse K. Bill, did you talk about how that left arm is an extension of the club, just all in a straight line? Yeah, so I'll tell you, because I did tell him. So, and that's what I'm trying to explain. If you look at this, if you look at this arm and this shaft, it's all one line. Meaning I see a lot of people get here, they'll get right here. So they'll try to hold it like this. Or I see some people doing like this, where you can tell the arm's going that way and the shaft's going that way. So what you want to naturally be able to do is this shaft, it's pretty much this right here. If I was to hold the club. And then I'll, I'm gonna come up and posture and you'll see. So now my hand's just hanging, like I'm not moving it, I'm not forcing it, I'm just letting it hang here. And then I'm gonna come underneath to get the reverse K. And notice I'm not, I'm not twisting this arm either, it's just hanging here. So I'm gonna watch one, two, three, and then it just marries to the club. And now you can see my elbow is actually pointing towards the camera, not here. Or sometimes you see real strong grip like that. So this natural hang, natural hang. So there that is, bend over, there that is. And then from here, all you wanna do is swing normally like you, you always would. So let's uh, put Gabe to the test, see if what I taught him is actually going to push through and let's see if he can do it. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I did before. Um, this is just normal setup without thinking of anything before. So as you can see, my left hand's a little bit weaker. My right hand's a little bit weaker. My, my right shoulder's a little bit higher. And you can see like Milt was saying, my left arm and the club aren't matched up. So, you know, I was just being open, being teachable, listening to Mill. So, sure, let me try it. I'm hitting it like crap, so why not? So, I did what he said. Try to make this club an extension of my left arm. Set up so this is all in one line. And just allow my right hand to just fall into the club and just grip it there. And uh, one of the things I've been noticing mostly is I've been hitting a lot shallower divots. I'm not coming in as steep to the ball. To me, it feels like it's imitating impact, right? Because I'm setting up with the shaft in a nice line with my left arm. I got more right side bend over here with this arm going a little under. So this feels like a more like an impact position. Um, so it's been really nice. And yeah, just been, I mean, quite honestly, I've been hitting it a lot better with basically just setting up differently, which I never thought could happen like that, but have been. All right, let's see a few of them. And let's actually take a look at this divot real quick. So would you say that's more shallow or how would you describe that divot compared to your old divots? That's definitely more shallow. This is, we're also in a very sandy part of the uh, range, as you can see. Um, so it's, the grass is very thin. And so I'm just picking it a lot cleaner, mainly because 
I, I'm just being able to hold this angle and just rotate more. And just the setup's kind of naturally allowing me to do it without having to think about it. And I also want to show the people, notice how straight this divot actually is, meaning the club is in the ground and then it's staying dead straight until it releases out of the ground. So you'll see a lot of flippers, you'll see a real chunk come out of this way because they flip the toe over and it just, it doesn't take straight divots, which if you can control your face, your club face like this, it's very hard to hit offline shots. Obviously we're all going to hit offline shots, but it definitely uh, reduces it. All right, let's see a few more. Does that look good, Mel? Looks great, yeah. So as you can see, very shallow. And right now I'm just doing, you know, three quarter swings just because it's a drill and it's not something I'm used to. How's the contact versus what you used to hit it? Um, way more shallower. And as you can just see, I told Milt the first time we were doing it is my big muscles were getting a lot sore. Because as you can see, even from face on, how much more connected I'm going through because I feel like this arm is a club is an extension of this arm and this one's just right arm staying bent and supporting and so you as you can see as I'm coming through I'm just able to maintain that better while kind of just replicating that at address. You want to get with one down the line? Yeah let's do it. And you look really connected on the backswing. Yeah, I feel and I feel more connected through the ball, which mm. I think is the most important part. Plus, uh, one little bonus tip I'm going to give you guys is I was looking at my video on the iPhone slow motion, and I was noticing my head as I was going to the ball is moving backwards. Mm. So now I'm trying to keep my head a little bit more where it started and not going this way, because once my head goes this way, my hip goes forward, and I got to throw the hands. So keeping my head there, providing a little bit more space, and I'll, I'll throw up some slow mos of that. All right, give me your best one. End it. You want a, you want a full swing or just keep it the three quarter? Let's see three quarter. Just you'll get the release pattern soon, but just keep it tight for now. A little pulley, but I still just like the divots. I'm just coming in way shallower. I'm just picking the ball, so it's been very nice. Mel, let's do an outro and uh, say goodbye to the good folks. Sounds good. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. If you would, uh, go give it a like. Give it, uh, Throw us a comment if you have any suggestions, maybe something you're working on, maybe something you want to ask us, you know. Uh, just leave us a comment. Uh, hit the like again, and then I appreciate you guys for watching. And if you want any other tips and, trips, uh, tips and tricks, just let me know, and then uh, Gabe and I here can make a video about it. Hey, double like that button, give it tips and tricks. And, uh, Triple like. If you got three accounts, definitely give us three likes. Hey, That'd be dope. Log into every account you guys have. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you guys, this is Gabe right here representing the movement towards improvement. Thanks for watching. Links all down below. We'll see you guys soon. Peace. Clap for the crowd, I came that king. Follow your dreams, I came to sing. Do what I need to, I got my wings. Woods with the drive, I got my swing. I bring that shit, now let's go. Uh. Take a leap of faith, now gon' go jump. Think of my grind, we ain't never gon' sold. Let's roll that four, we gon'.